Hey everybody, Mungo Dark Matter here. Today I thought I'd do a quick tutorial to show you how to do screenshots and video captures from your Windows machine using Windows Game Bar. Now Game Bar isn't as sophisticated as some capture programs. For example, some capture programs and screenshot programs uh, have uh, um, part of the program where it can actually edit this, the, the uh, picture or the video. Uh, Windows Game Bar does not have that. It's a pretty basic uh, thing, but it's good for quick and dirty screenshots and quick and dirty uh, video captures. And you can always take those files and edit them in another program, such as a video editing program or a graphics program. Uh, but if you just need something for a presentation or to email to somebody to show them where something is or how something works, uh, this is this is a pretty good program to do that uh, for things that are just really quick uh, all right so in order to bring up the game bar we need to hold the windows key down and hit g windows key is between control and alt uh, in case you never use it that's the little key that has a picture of a windows on it all right so here's the interface right here up here is the uh, capture features and it, when you hover over it, it will tell you what the uh, quick keys are. For instance, to capture the screen or take a screenshot, it's uh, Windows Alt Print Screen. If we go over here, this is to start recording and it will stop recording too. And that's Windows Alt R. So if you remember Windows Alt R and Windows uh, Alt Print Screen, you can use those without bringing up the gaming bar itself. Uh, but if you remember Windows G, you can always uh, bring it up and uh, refresh your memory what the keys are to, to uh, trigger the program. All right, so one thing we want to do is we want to go up here to settings and bring up this uh, box right here where it says uh, capturing. We click on that. Make sure that you have all game, enabled mic, apps, and systems clicked right here. By default, game and enabled mic are click. So you, so you want to make sure you bring that up uh, and, and get that set so that you get all the sound from your system, including the app that you're trying to capture. Uh, you can also actually disable all audio recording if you just want the picture or just the video. So let's just click this off for now. And uh, another thing I you need to uh, pay attention to is here it says turn on mic while recording I'm going to click on this and it says right here your privacy settings are blocking your microphone so you need to go in where it says show show me how to fix it click this you, it, allow apps to access your microphone should be on and if you scroll down here Xbox game bar is off we need to turn that on and so if we close out of this and we hit Windows G again and bring it back up again we should be able to click the mic on see the mic was muted right here so make sure the mic is not muted if you want to do a voiceover uh, on the video uh, if you don't you can just click it shut all right so the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna do a screenshot I'm gonna just use this button here and kind of instead of the quick key. I'm running uh, Google Earth and that's the application we're going to use to demo this uh, Windows game bar. So I'm going to just click on this and if we see the gallery right here and you can be hitting the G once again and we click on that little folder you'll see that we've got a screen capture and we can open this up and voila we've got a picture of what was on the screen. And so uh, you can use this however you want. You can crop it if you take it into another graphics program, uh, or you can just email it or post it to a website, whatever you want to do with it. So let's close out of that, reduce this again. I'm going to hold Windows key down and hit G once again. And uh, so now we're going to do a, uh, a video capture. So I'm going to hit this button right here. And then all I need to do is click anywhere on the screen. Probably the easiest way to do this would be hit uh, would be to hit Windows uh, Alt R 
to turn on the capture and to turn it off again. Uh, so, uh, so as you can see up here in the, in, in the right, there's a little thing indicating that we're recording right now. Looks like I, mic is muted according to this. So let's turn it on. So now we have the mic on. So we're recording our mic as well. And so I can go into this application and I can spin the world around here a little bit. And I can go into any, uh, any given area on the map and zoom in. So I could be discussing how I can zoom in on Google Earth right here. Then we're going to zoom back out again. And this is just to show you that we're actually taking a video. All right. So if we go up here, you see where the, the game bar thing is right here. Or we can just hit stop recording or we could hit Windows Alt R and stop the recording. So I'm going to hit the Windows key and G one more time. Bring up our interface. We're going to go here to this folder. And you'll see that we now have a video here. So if I double click on this. Brings up a video, and if we go farther in, application, and I can spin the world around here a little bit, and I can go into any uh, any given area on the map and zoom in, so I could be discussing how. All right, so that that shows that we created the video and how that how that looks. So. Let's bring back up the Windows Gaming Bar again. So that's the Windows Gaming Bar. And that's how you can use it to capture screens and capture video from your Windows machine. It's a really useful tool, particularly it's the type of thing that you can use if you need something quick and dirty. Like your boss says, hey, can you do a pic screenshot of this and, show, and write some instructions for people to show them how to do something? You could actually use this to help you do that. Uh, or you could actually do a little video demonstration where you showed how to perform a function on a piece of software that people were confused with, and you could post it to your network or a website or just email it to people. I'm Mungo Dark Matter, and this has been Dark Matters. And whatever you do, enjoy the day, and I will see you soon.